Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. Entering the sacred forest of Udwa seemed to be the new strategy right now to keep Queen Naomi out of the palace. Now, report reaching us allegedly is that the elders of Udwa, the anti-Naomi elders are saying that all the wives are supposed to go into the sacred forest of Udwa to go and perform sacrifices. And that includes Olori Naomi. Now, apparently, they are doing this because they know that there is no way in the hell that Naomi will agree to that, or Naomi will want to enter the sacred forest of Udua to perform any kind of sacrifices or sacrifice. Now, it's also alleged that um, one of the major reasons that uh, brought about this uh, problem in the first place was because when it was time to get her out of the palace, they started insisting that she must do some of those sacrifices that she had initially agreed with the only of Ife that she would never be a part of. And that was why uh, Lori Ashley, with due respect, was in the palace of the only of Ife. And so um, only of Ife allegedly agreed with Naomi. When Naomi was asking, okay, you want to marry me? That was when when, you know, Ni had proposed to her after they met. And now me asked, you want to marry me? You know, I'm Christian. I'm born again. I'm a prophetess. You do know that I'm not going to be comfortable with all of these things that you are doing. And Oni responded immediately that you don't have to take part in anything that you do not want to take part in. I'm a very liberal king. I'm educated. If there's anything I know is that you cannot force people to believe in what you believe in. And that was why Queen Naomi said yes to him immediately. Immediately, he said that Ashley is in the palace. Ashley has been everything to him, his sister and everything, that Ashley is um, vested in tradition and she knows so much what, as in when it comes to what to do, she can never be found wanting. That Ashley will be taking part of um, 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 taking part, as in taking charge of all the things that Queen Naomi was supposed to do at the time, and so because of that, Queen Naomi became comfortable, and they said that was when Queen Naomi agreed to the proposal that they should get married. In that agreement, that she will not be a part of any traditional ritual or you know serving the gods anything. And so right now, you know that the bus goes going back and forth whether she's coming back to the palace or not. If all the information. We are getting is to be true. Um, 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 now it is beginning to look as if they are trying to come up with so many strategies to ensure that this does not happen. And now one of those strategies is that uh, um, the wives will have to go into the sacred forest of Udua allegedly to perform certain sacrifices. You do know that it was also said that Ashley has gone to perform those sacrifices in the forest and that is what makes Ashley the number one choice of the elders. Like she is a no-no for them. She is the best wife to be with the only of Ife according to what we are hearing. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dela Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy gist from the south. It's still on the royals. Dela writes my Dela writes, my Dela writes, my Subu people. Dela writes, my Dela writes, my Dela writes, my Subu people. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Um, Thank you for your loyalty. I would never take that for granted and do not get tired of hearing this, you know, appreciation for me because, from me because I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. It's important for you to bear in mind that every um, news that we bring here um, is alleged and um, 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 mostly um, news that are, you know, already out there in the public domain. And so um, we just reenact, analyze it right here in the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Dela writes, I love you guys. You're yet to subscribe, Kylie, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. I love you guys so much. Okay, so report reaching us allegedly is that the Udwa elders are saying the wife will have to go to the forest to perform certain sacrifices to um, the gods and that it includes Olori Naomi. And um, if you know Naomi very well, you do know that Naomi will never, ever agree to this. And a lot of people are saying, yes, it's a strategy to put her out of the uh, palace permanently because if it is this one, no matter what happens, she would not agree. Now, it's um, really, really worrisome that, you know, people who are supposed to, you know, stand as fathers and all of that will do everything to ensure that a young woman doesn't return back to her matrimonial home. It's everything we are hearing, if everything we keep hearing is to be true. And, um, you know, we are um, supposed to, you know, be custodians of, you know, keeping marriage intact 
to understanding how important marriage is, like a man and a woman coming together and forming a family, bearing children, is supposed to be something that everybody needs to celebrate. So I do not understand why this fight against Olorinami returning back to her matrimonial home, what had happened? It's something that happens to different marriages. Um, there's no marriage that is, you know, um, perfect. Um, the, everything they're holding their hands on is that she went and she disgraced. Or, or she said things she wasn't supposed to say on Instagram that has to do with the monarch. I do understand and I do agree that that was, you know, um, um, uh, perhaps um, um, what... Um, something that was taken too far. But at that time, we do understand that she was very um, angry and emotional. She is a woman. If other wives are given consideration because of um, the fact that they are women and their emotions can run wild, why is Queen Naomi's own different is a question that I am still asking. Now, from history, we have studied that the sacred forest of um, Udwa, that is in Ilefe, I don't know. I think somewhere around, I, there, there was something I read. They said something around Ushubu Road. I don't know. Uh, they said it's a very scary place to go to. It's a tourist attraction, though, but a part of it is a tourist attraction. And the other part is um, the forest where they have so many, you know, according to them, they say it's a home of 401 deities. You must be a very strong woman to want to go there. And that is why people are giving, you know, kudos to Olori Ashley that she entered there. But then again, you can, you you shouldn't be surprised about the fact that Ashley was able to go into the sacred forest of Udua because Ashley is somebody who is vested in tradition. From what she explained, she said her father used to be a native doctor. You know, she is royalty. It's something she has always known from small. And there's nothing as strong as what you believe in. If you believe in something so greatly, you have confidence in that thing. And if you have confidence in something, you feel that that thing has the capacity to protect you. Never be afraid again. Now, it makes it very difficult for those who do not believe in what they believe in to get into that sacred forest. It's like Dale, now you come and say, Dale, let's go to sacred forest. <laughs> the way I will jump, eh? Hey. Okay, so now, it's you know, everybody knows that the reason why they are bringing up the sacred forest thing again is because they know that Queen Naomi will never go there. And that's exactly what they want. This result, Queen Naomi will not go. There is nothing in the world that will make Queen Naomi want to go and enter a sacred forest and begin to perform sacrifices and perform uh, rituals to some gods. No disrespect to them. It is what they believe in. I am a respecter of people's culture and tradition and other people's religion. I would never ever even bring up children that will disrespect other people's tradition and religion. But then again, the thing is that do not impose it on other people. Now, does it mean that her relationship with the Oni of Ife um, 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 is based on whether she goes into the forest or not? Are other wives going to go? Absolutely. What we are hearing is that other wives are gearing up to go into the sacred forest. But it is beginning to look as if Oni is not going to let Olori Naomi and Dr. Elizabeth go because Dr. Elizabeth is not even ready to go into the sacred forest in the first place. So, you know, you, you, you can see that these things are being played out to affect some of them and you know the people who are on the side of Queen Naomi will be affected because they do know that these people do not believe or belong to that school of thought. Then again Olori Timitokwe, whether Olori Timitokwe will agree to go into the sacred forest is what I do not know because Olori Timitokwe they have always said she is a born again Christian like Queen Naomi so will she go or not is what I do not know. And um, right now, you can see where this is coming from and what they are trying to achieve. So it's been alleged that the wives to the only of affair are supposed to bear gift and represent their husband there one after the other. And so... Um, Basically, what that means is that anybody who does not go is not fit to be the wife of the Oni of Ife. So this is tradition that needs to be respected from what they are saying. And um, where this is coming from is what I do not know. But I think it's something that we'll have to discuss um, during our life. Um, for those of you who are Yorubas, um, um, is this a culture for the Yoruba people or this is for the royal family? Is this some kind of politics? Or what is it that you think this is? Okay. Um, does it mean that even if a foreigner, let's say that um, um, only of if decides to marry a white woman now, is a white woman, um, 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 uh, will the white, white woman be 
obligated to go into the forest to bear gift for the gods? And what if she says no? And what would that mean for her? Will it mean that she's going to relinquish everything that she has um, um, been given as a wife and all the privileges? Is that what it means? For those of you who are Yorubas, please, I want to know this in your in the comment section. Or is this basically politics, as people are saying, to um, kind of ensure that this woman stays back. You do know that there have been a lot of prophecies saying that the fight is going to be very tense right now, that this is when the, the fight is even beginning, that everything she has seen is the uh, icing on the cake, that she needs to brace up and she needs to stand firm in the day, in, in the, uh, um, the day, her day of adversity. Now we say if there are going to be more adversity than what she has been through, then is this um, going to be what is at the end of the day because i do in my own opinion think she has been through a lot she's been so through so much at 30 she has seen so much in her life i feel like people should just cut her uh, give her some accolade and allow her have her peace allow her come back to her husband the love of her life and so they can raise their children together I don't know why it is so difficult for people to understand that when people are in love, you allow them to say in love. And nobody is saying the say from what we are hearing that the only of you fair is a man who loves and respects his wife so much. And all of these women have respect and he loves them. But the only thing is for this woman, Kwenami, to return back into the palace so he, she can bring Tadenikawu back as Tadenikawu cannot come back by himself. And why is there so much fight? We do know that we've heard that is spiritual battle and all of that but is there no point where these people want to give up and allow things to work out the way they should work out and so this is what is going on allegedly i'm going to bring you more update i appreciate you so much thank you